Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to 7.4.4 Easy Path for Completion. This is going to start with a Cyclops and end with a Null. And this is a very easy and cheesy path. It has recharge on it, so whenever you will block with your uh, attacker, you're gonna gain power. And there's also Enhanced Parry, so whenever you will parry the opponent, you will get a power gain buff on you that will grant you 50% more of power over 5 seconds. And this is not stackable, and the defenders are more likely to throw special too and power shield is there as well so your basic attacks will not do any damage but your special attacks will do 400 percent more damage and there's also spite so if you do parry the opponent you will get a power gain and because of that that's above spite will trigger on the opponent so it will be like a race who gets to an sp3 first but it's a really fun path and you will enjoy it if you have suicide masteries and recall this will be the best path to keep those masteries because it'll be really fun and quick the boss is going to be a super scroll mojo and annihilus we're going to attempt mojo more on him later in the video but before we jump on to the path let's have a quick look at the masteries i am going to run my suicide masteries for this one because the more the damage on the specials the better it is so without further ado guys before we jump make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notifications all of that really helps me out a lot and helps me grow the channel The first fight is going to be against the Cyclope, you will notice that I'm just trying to parry and that enhanced parry is giving me power gain so I get to an sp2 very quick, dodge an sp1 and then I will throw my sp2, I will try not to block because I might be pushed to an sp3, so just be careful about that, uh, Cyclops is very trigger happy so we'll keep throwing those sp1s and sp2 so you don't need to worry about him going to a special attack 3, but all you need to do is to just hold your block charge up to an sp2 keep throwing them right now you don't have any charges with corvus but once you have them it becomes a much more fun part one sp2 can kill off the whole opponent other champions are also mentioned they are all the ones with big attack damage on an sp2 or sp3 they work really well ghost comes to mind colossus comes to mind kitty pride comes to mind all of those crazy champions work really well on this cheesy path Next one is going to be a Punisher 2099, now he can be really annoying and he can get uh, gain a lot of power and because he mitigates your power as well, uh, so you might take a little longer to get to your SP2 or SP3, so just be wary about that. I was barely able to kill him with two SP2s because he was trying to hit me and then very slowly I got to an SP2 and threw that because I had one charge on me, I had more damage on my special 2. But if you don't have that, it might get a little annoying, so just be sure about this fight. The next one is going to be an Odin. It's the same thing, just use your block. You can use a reparry if you want, build up to an SP2 or an SP3 and let it rip and that's all about you're gonna do for the whole path. Nothing really difficult, Corvus will have shorter fights because of his criticals and so will Ghost and Penny. But some champions like Doom might take a bit longer because uh, the SP2 is not as high damaging but again you can slowly play through all of them just bring in the right champions with big S special damages and you should be able to run through the path quite easily. Now I will see you at the Null fight, let's discuss there what can go wrong and then we will jump on to the boss fight.
Now the final fight before the boss is going to be a null. One thing about null, do not parry him because then he will put you on a timer and do uh, and put you on corruption. And because of that, your controls will be reversed and it will be really annoying for you to deal with it. So what I like to do, I just like to keep blocking and, and just take the hits on, on the block. But anyway, I'm gaining power. So that is fine as well. I will let the whole animation of his special just hit me in the block. Doesn't really matter. I'm just waiting, waiting right here to get an SP2. And once I have it, I let it rip and he dies very easily. The boss fight is going to be against a mojo. Now there is a lot of no's. There is bubble shield. There is no surrender. There is also subterfuge. Uh, I don't know how to spell it. But whenever you will parry the opponent, opponent, he will get a fury on you. And with mojo, he reduces the time, uh, the duration of all the furies on the attacker by 80-90%. So because of that, that will go away and you can get a degen on you. So you really need to play carefully against him. You have to play slower. Do not give him his prompts that he's asking for. So his thumbs up remain uh, remain less and there is less degen on you. Once you have that down and if for example I am using, Ar using Archangel, I have enough uh, neurotoxins on him. I don't need to worry about anything else. So you can use uh, Magneto as well because Mojo is a metal champion. Another great counter is going to be your uh, Human Torch. Also Mr. Negative and so is a fun option is going to be a Spider Ham. So plenty of different options. Just you have to play slow and stay away from his prompts and stay away from his degen. Then you should be good. Try knocking him down very often so if there is any degen that can be removed. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is a very fun and cheesy part. You get through it very quickly. Next one up is going to be 7.4.5 in a few hours. So stay tuned to the channel guys and I appreciate all of the positive comments you guys are sending my way and all the love. Thank you so much for that. See you on 7.4.5 and you have an amazing time till then.